Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me back out on the banks of the river and we're in search of pike. As you can see behind me and you can see on screen now, conditions are freezing. It was minus three this morning when I loaded up the car. Ice all over it, defrost in the car. You've got that lovely clear morning on the way to the venue and arriving on the venue, there's one or two fish topping and I've wasted no time at all in getting some rods out. We had a proper hard frost this morning and today I would say is the proper first one of the year. There's been one or two where they've been on the ground for the first bit of the morning, but not as bad as now. When it does get this cold so quickly, canals and still waters can be hit really hard. But I found from experience that rivers are a bit different. You can get away with it a bit on that first hard frost and hopefully today we can get one or two pike on the back. So the rods are in behind me and I'll quickly go over the setup. I've got my Cornham Snapper deadbait rod, team that up with a Zelos reel with 65 pound braid. So on the left hand rod I've got a ledger setup fishing a bait down the middle on a bigger bait and on the right hand rod I've got a float setup fishing a smelt. That's the setup that we're using, nice and simple like always on the channel and in past videos this year I've covered the float setup so have a look at recent videos and you'll find that float setup that I'm using today. It's given a bitterly cold day, it's a clear sky and I'm just hoping for one pike. On days like today you're just hoping for any pike of any size. So I'm going to sit back, chill out and hopefully we can get Mr Pike. So let's take a quick look at the baits that I've brought with me today. I've got ever trusty smelt. I say I won't go anywhere without a smelt. I've got a pack of the heaven jacks, you know, whole herrings and super bait this time of year. The only bait I haven't got with me is roach, which would be my go-to bait today, really, with it clear. We've got some sardines, and I did a video recently on how I preserve them and save a bit of money. So go and check that out on the channel, and yeah, might save yourself a few pennies by doing it that way. The same way, that pack in my own, got some of the heavy tail sections, and then there's a bit of a change bait. The later we get in the air, I think a more oily bait is something that really does help. You know, on this river, eels can be a bit of a pain, so I avoid mackerel a bit. Not loads and loads of baits, preferring different sizes than different flavours as such. But that's just a look at the baits that we've got with us today. With the ice on the ground, the inside rod just pulled off and slowly moved away. You can see all the leaves that had accumulated on it. We've got the first run of the day. So when it comes to the first run of the day, you just want to concentrate on getting it in. Freezing cold day, a slow take, which I looked up and the float was under. So it's a pity I couldn't get it on camera, but yeah. About quarter to ten, so the rod's been in probably an hour and a half, and we've got the first one of the day. We'll give him a quick rest, and we'll take a look at him. And it just shows, even on the coldest of days, you can get out there and get a few bites. Been on the River Ribble quite a bit lately, but missed the piking. Let's get this lovely pike straight back and get the rod back out. So there's only one good thing about a pike on a freezing cold day. Even better when you get your bait back. So let's get it straight back out there and hopefully, got plenty of the day left, we can pick up another. But excellent start, proper, proper made up. So really good to get an early fish. I say an early fish, we've been fishing for probably an hour and a half. So yeah, the days are short and they'll soon get away from us. I said earlier on about leaving the baits in situ. The rod on the dead bait that we've had a bite on is back out. So I'm just going to have a recast now on the ledger and yeah, hopefully with this one we can begin exploring different areas of the river down the middle. It's been out there for two hours without a touch so it is now start to try and find a pike. As you can see there, a nice simple setup. We've got a run ring, we've got two beads down to a swivel and then a wire trace and there is that whole heaven that we're going with down the middle. A nice positive bait, you can see there, nice and shiny in the clear water. And hopefully, it's going to pick us out a nice pike. That is always the hope with the bait down the middle, that it finds those better pike. So 
So after a quick recast, the ledger rod's just pulled out the clip and hopefully into the second pike of the day. Sat with me mate Gary just chatting and we were just saying this year on the river there's just a lack of quality in the river. Um, a lot of smaller jacks, some years you do get a few doubles. This has got a hump on its back. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely got the hump now though. This morning I said we'd take any type of pike. <laughs> This one, he's blind in one eye, and as you can see there, got a massive lump on its back. And I guess it just shows just how adaptable these fish are, you know. That fish is surviving and doing quite well. What we'll do is we'll get him in the edge to rest and we'll take a look at him. So there we go on a proper cold winter's day. It's probably about one degree now. That sun's out, but there's no warmth in it at all. And when we come out today and we've seen conditions, it was all about just getting one bite. We've managed to, and yeah, he is in the wars a bit, but more than welcome. Let's get this pike straight back, get the rod back out, and I guess it just shows how important a move can be. You know, that rod was only maybe 20 yards further downstream. Just shows the difference. On a cold day, sometimes you've got to go to the pike. Well, two pike before dinner. One happy daddy, and there's only one thing that makes me even happier. We got the bait back as well. Always happy Danny when you get a pike and you get the bait back. There's only one thing now celebratory brew time and a sit back and relax. So, time for that celebratory brew. We forgot the lid again, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It's going to take a while to brew anyway. So, yeah, kettle's on. Just sat chilling. In Gary's swim, chewing the fat. You can see there the frost hasn't really moved off the ground. And similar tactics, one on top of the shelf and one down the middle. There is a nip in the air, you can see on that far bank there where the sun hasn't gone, it's still freezing. Just probably on zero, maybe one degree. Both had pike. Just hoping now with the rest of the day to go, that them rods go again. You'd always come for one. When you get your one, you'd always want more. But a beautiful winter's day on the bank. And to you lads out there chasing the pike this winter, best of fishes and cheers. So good to see the Canal and Rivers Trust on the river, just clearing the outlets out. And yeah. The river is a deep river, so it's you know, 10, 15 foot deep. So not going to cause too much disturbance and the colour won't really have an effect really. Just coming up to midday now, you can see clear day. And yeah, the days go by so fast now, you know, four hours left. You're just hoping for one more bite, really. Most definitely my favorite time of year. I love fishing in winter for those dates, the roach, the pike and the chub. If you do enjoy the videos, please leave them a like and subscribe. Plenty of content every Friday on the channel. So one thing I do get a lot of questions on is oils in piking. Um, when the river is clear, I don't use them now that might be wrong it might be right but when the river's clear i just believe them pike are, are looking using their eyes or the one eye that other pike had to look for bait and when it's colored i want that smell and the maximum attraction but like i say when it's clear i just don't use the oils leave comment down below your opinion on oils what you think about them be really interested to see how much you use oils in your fishing so coming up to the last hour of the session we've had one more pike between us that you can see on screen now for gary so we've decided to stay in this area obviously four bites on a cold day there must be more pike about so with this last hour just hoping that we can pick up that final run of the day as the light levels begin to drop hopefully between us we can pick up a nice pike but it has been a lovely day on the bank cool but just made up to get a few bites between us which is all we hoped for when we arrived so with that sun now going behind the hill the temperature really has dropped we've got about probably half an hour of the session left we're in last chance saloon will we get a last chance pike fingers crossed so me and my mate gary fished on until dark but sadly no more bites were forthcoming it was really great to get out on the bank on that day it was bitterly cold, on the banks with a mate, and as you can see on screen now, we all managed to catch fish. 
those winter days where it's ice cold really are my favorite days to be on the bank as you can see behind me it's not got any warmer and i'm looking forward to the weekend hopefully getting on the river so that does bring the video to an end and as always i just want to say thank you to the support you do show the channel it really is appreciated i want to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing i'm going to get back in the car now and warm up a bit and i'll catch you all next week tight lines <laughs>